students this is my lecture number 10 in this lecture we are going to study processes over combinatorial dna technology no doubt you already know regarding most of the processes but once again we are going to see them one by one isolation of dna fragmentation of dna by restriction endonucleases that we have already seen isolation of a desired dna fragment that we have also seen in one of my previous lecture in which we first do agrogen electrophoresis and then we remove the desired dna segment by pollution the next step is ligation of dna fragment into a vector that too we already know transferring the combinant dna into the host that was my previous topic culturing the host cells in a medium at large scale and extraction of the desired product these two topics are the second last and last topics of this chapter now we are going to study these steps one by one the first of all is isolation of the genetic material students you all know this topic is also in our practical in our practical we are supposed to extract dna from a plant material or from animal material so far dna is concerned it is the genetic material of all the living organisms except some rna viruses whenever we have to do some experiment of a combinant dna technology first of all we need a desired dna segment and that desired dna segment should be free of all type of proteins all type of rnas lipids carbohydrates and other macromolecules to obtain a pure molecule of dna we have to follow some very simple processes we use a very simple apparatus pestle and mortar we put the plant material animal material into it then we put then we put the different type of enzymes if we have to withdraw dna from a bacteria we put lysozyme do you know students what is the lysozyme lysozyme is a natural bacteriocidal enzyme it is present in our tears it is present in our saliva and it is also present in our sweat sweat if we have to isolate dna from a plant material plant cell then we put up cellulose enzyme so that we can break up the cell wall which is made up of cellulose and if we are going to isolate dna from fungi then we have to add chitinase enzyme students can you tell why in case of fungus we use chitinase enzyme because the cell wall of the fungus is made up of chitin so we simply put the plant material or the animal material or the fungal material or the bacteria culture whatever we have from which we have to extract the dna in this pestle and mortar and then we put different types of enzymes then we have to crush their plant animal material or microbial paste or fungal material finally actually dna is present deep inside the nucleus nucleus has its own double layered membrane outside the nucleus there is cytoplasm and cytoplasm is also surrounded by plasma plasma membrane so to release the dna to get the dna from a cell we have to break the cell open to release dna along with rna proteins polysaccharides lipids rna proteins polysaccharides lipids they are the other polymers which are naturally present inside the cell when we will crush the plant material 
crush the animal material in the pestle and mortar, they will also come out. The next step is to remove these polymers, which are not required. To remove RNA, we use enzyme RNAase. To remove proteins, we use enzyme proteinases. To remove polysaccharides, that is to remove starch, we use enzyme amylase. Similarly, to remove lipids, we use lipase enzyme. After that, we put chilled ethanol in the pestle motor or in the test tube, and DNA gets extracted from the material. As, as, we, as we put the chilled ethanol in the test tube, what happens? The DNA precipitates and comes to the surface of the chilled ethanol. From there, we can isolate the DNA by spooling. So, CBSE can ask you a simple question of one mark. What is spooling? Very simple. So, pooling is the removing of DNA from the test tube after its extraction. Thank you.